Inside Amal Clooney's Life, Unusual Breakfast Choice, Legal Career and Love Life. Amal Clooney turns 44 years old on February 3rd and to mark the occasion, Daily Star have taken a sneak peek into her life as George's wife and a successful barrister. Amal Clooney has become one of the most talked about names in showbiz over the years thanks to her stunning good looks and sought after style. But there is much more to the wife of Hollywood star George Clooney than meets the eye as she packs not just beauty but an awful lot of brains into her life. Amal is a British Lebanese barrister at Dowdy Street Chambers, specializing in international law and human rights. Her clients include Nobel Prize laureate Maria Ressa, a former president of the Maldives, Mohamed Nasheed, Julian Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, in his fight against extradition, a former prime minister of Ukraine, Yulia Tymoshenko, Egyptian-Canadian journalist Mohamed Fahmy and Nobel Prize laureate Nadia Murad. The philanthropist celebrates her 44th birthday on February 3 and Daily Star have taken a look at some of the finer details of her life. Healthy Lifestyle Amal is known for her svelte figure and healthy outlook on life. She has occasionally shared insights into her regime during rare interviews. One of the most standout parts of her routine is her interesting meal of choice when it comes to breakfast. The star is said to enjoy an intriguing early morning concoction of seaweed soup and sometimes a boiled egg. While it doesn't seem the most obvious choice to start your day, it has clearly worked so far for him all. People magazine writer Nathan Heller previously provided further insight into the Clooney's culinary habits when he joined the couple for lunch where their personal chef Viviana Fritzi prepared a lavish spread. He wrote, Clooney leads me to the kitchen, where her chef has laid out food. There is a salad, spaghetti with turkey meatballs, and chicken breast with lemon sauce. We help ourselves and take a seat at a small table nearby. Two baby chairs with trays hang from the ceiling facing each other, Kentucky style. The cook, who hails from Lake Como, in Italy, goes everywhere with the couple to prepare their meals. Legal Career Despite her Hollywood status Amal actually has a very non-showbiz job in being a well-respected human rights lawyer in the U.S. She has not just one but two law degrees under her belt and a string of high-profile clients she has represented including WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. She practices her trade globally at the International Criminal Court, the International Court of Justice, the European Court of Human Rights and domestic courts in the UK and US. Much of her work involves advising governments and individuals on legal issues in her areas of expertise. Lebanese-British beauty Amal is also trilingual and speaks English, French and conversational Arabic. George Clooney Romance George and Amal experienced a fairy tale love story when they met, with the actor saying she changed everything for him from the first time he was introduced to her. Speaking to CBS Sunday Morning in November 2020 George admitted she was the first woman he saw as being infinitely more important than himself. He said, There is no question that having Amal in my life changed everything for me. It was the first time that everything that she did and everything about her was infinitely more important than anything about me. The couple met for the first time in George's living room in July 2013 after in his own words, I got a call from my agent, who said, I met this woman who's coming to your house who you're going to marry. He previously said, the funniest thing was my mom and dad were visiting, so my parents were there, and we just talked, and we stayed up all night talking. The truth was I met this amazing woman, and she took my breath away. She was brilliant and funny and beautiful and kind. I was sort of swept off my feet. The pair remained in contact via email until October 2013 when they went on their first date in London. George then stayed in London for the next six weeks in order to spend more time with Amal as they grew closer. She previously said of the experience, it felt like the most natural thing in the world. Before that experience, I always hoped there could be love that was overwhelming and didn't require any weighing or decision making. I was 35 when I met him. It wasn't obvious that it was going to happen for me. And I wasn't willing or excited about the idea of getting married or having a family in the absence of that. The couple then spent Christmas 2013 together in Mexico, 
closely followed by a safari trip to Kenya in March 2014 at which point George realized he wanted to propose to Amal. He told Vogue, some giraffes walked up to her. They just came out of the blue. I took a picture of her, and she was smiling. I, later, said to my buddy Ben, you know, I think I should ask her to marry me. And Ben said, I think that's a good idea. George and Amal got engaged just six months into their relationship in April 2014 and by September 2014 they tied the knot in a lavish star-studded ceremony at Venice Grand Hall. In February 2017 it was announced that they were expecting not just one but two babies and by June 6 Amala and George were over the moon to welcome their fraternal twins Ella and Alexander Clooney. Love Letters George and Amal have admitted that writing each other letters has been a big part of how they keep their romance alive. Paying tribute to her husband at the American Film Institute's 46th Life Achievement Award Gala tribute she admitted the touching detail of their private life. She said, I was 35 and was starting to become quite resigned to the idea that I was going to be a spinster. Then we met and started hiding out in my London flat, and very soon it felt like no matter what happened, I would never want to be with anyone else. I couldn't sleep when we were apart, and I was told that I would display a particular grin or head tilt when reading his text messages or the letters he would hide in my bag. George cemented his passion for love letters when he told AARP, even in lockdown, I'll write a letter and slip it on her desk, or she'll write a letter and leave it under the pillow. I'm a big believer in letters. Thank you.
Forbes has been a big part of how they keep their romance alive. Paying tribute to her husband at the American Film Institute's 46th Life Achievement Award Gala tribute she admitted the touching detail of their private life. She said, I was 35 and was starting to become quite resigned to the idea that I was going to be a spinster. Then we met and started hiding out in my London flat, and very soon it felt like no matter what happened, I would never want to be with anyone else. I couldn't sleep when we were apart, and I was told that I would display a particular grin or head tilt when reading his text messages or the letters he would hide in my bag. George cemented his passion for love letters when he told AARP, even in lockdown, I'll write a letter and slip it on her desk, or she'll write a letter and leave it under the pillow. I'm a big believer in letters.